Hey folks, Quilly Thien here, and welcome to some more Let's Play Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Just had a great game as Alakir, where we came in first. Um, hopefully we can, you know, at least not do bad. That's always the goal. Like, top four is really the goal. Anything beyond that is just gravy. Just hoping to keep crawling up the the, the MMR ladder. We are, if, if we did two back-to-back, -back, like, insanely good games, like first, second, I think we'd cross the 6,500 MMR threshold. Of course, that's a big ask, so. So, yeah, I'm going to ask for it then. Go big or go home, I always say, is one of the things that, is it Bob the Tavern Goer says? I think Bob says that. It's not the, um, it's not the dwarf that is in the main menu. I don't know what his name is. Who's the, who's the dwarf host of Hearthstone, as opposed to Bob? Oh, I do like pirates, and I do like patches. So we're going to do that. That's thing is interesting. I, I never picked them. Um, and then one time I was up against him. And I was like, wait, why are my minions bigger? I never realized he gave all minions plus two attack. Not just his own. Like, there's no, there's no reason he's kind of terrible. Hook Trash isn't bad. Sintragosa is interesting, but we're going Patches. Because Patches is very, very, very strong. And I love Pirates. Um, so, turn one... Obviously, if you can buy a pirate, it's quite good, because it makes his ability cheaper. You could also consider using his ability turn one if there are no pirates, but there's not much point in doing that, because you don't. these two are not very exciting sort of tier one picks, so you're really looking for, if they're not a pirate to buy, you just want a token. What's interesting to consider is if there is both a token and a pirate, it, where you would go, and actually we're sort of seeing that decision here. So the difference is, if you get the token then on turn three, you can sort of sell one of the tokens, which is effectively what's going here, and buy two guys from the shop. If you go pirate, you can only buy one from the shop, but you'll still be able to use your power. So it comes out about the same. And, you know, this moves us towards maybe getting, you know, some early golden pirates. With patches, you are really hoping that your power leads to early golden pirates and early gold grubber as well. You get some scaling over there. And of course, with pirates, generally speaking, you're really looking to level up quickly so you can get your Dread Admiral Eliza, and then it's a little easier to find thanks to the, the power. I mean, it's any pirate, so, well, any pirate limited by your tavern shop. So just being level six, using this doesn't mean you're gonna get an Eliza or a Tide Razor. Well, Tide Razor's not actually a pirate, so you can't actually get Tide Razor with this ability. Um, but yeah, what's nice is there are no beasts, which does limit, uh, the... no, we've got a fair amount of competition at tier six for the pirates. Not great, not terrible. So yeah, plan is to level up here. And the hope... So, um, on uh, on turn three, we're okay with buying literally anything and using our power. Um, the ideal, I suppose, is if we can buy a pirate. And then re-roll and maybe freeze and still use our power. And it's not that the pirates are going to be automatically better. Although, what we'd really like to see... Free, free dealing gambler is very nice. Um, and Yoho Ogre is very nice. I mean, South Sea Captain is fine early on. I'm not, and especially with the Scallywags, because you know, effectively we get the we get the buff twice. Interesting. So you did not uh, you did not level. Hmm. All right. Well, no spicy mustard this time because we're clearly going to lose first round here. Yeah, we're really not excited about t uh, tier one pirates. The Scallywag can do great things late game when you do have Eliza. I've got some fresh. All right, we didn't pirate anything. Um. Huh, I wonder. I mean, you get slightly more stats now, and a well-timed sale can do crazy good things. On the other hand, this helps your combat. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'd like to do the Steward of Time, and just hope we see a turn where we've got two pirates on board at the same time. Cost of upgrading goes down by one, which can change the math a little bit, because normally it's on your seven gold turn. You spend four to upgrade the tavern, and then uh, you have three to buy, you know, one of the best things. But I guess we could spend three, re-roll, and then buy the best thing we see there, or something like that. Or maybe it'll work out better with our, um, our hero power. Okay, that's good, because he didn't actually kill anyone, so we got our full damage a second time there. Interesting. What order would have led to a draw? I'm surprised it wasn't 100% loss. I'd have to like rewind my own video to see what the uh, other possibilities would be. Welcome back. How's it going out there? So, I might be blind, but it looks to me like none of these guys are pirates. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna um, level. I'm gonna sell the Swabby and use my hero power, and hope we hit a better pirate.
Worst case scenario, we just get the swabby back. Well, that's a little better now. So we're going to do this because we want to make sure that this goes off completely before the South Sea Captain. Uh, we don't have a lot of guys on the board, so it's a very good chance that this person is going to go first. It says Quillbore once, and it doesn't say mixed minions or anything. Does this mean they literally going to have one dude? Or if they have one Quillbore and a bunch of guys with no tribe, I wonder if it would report Quillbore one as their most populous one. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Hmm. He might have used it. No, he doesn't have a triple, so he hasn't used his power early. Doing which would be fairly unusual, but you don't want to wait too long with this, because you do have three wishes, and you need to be able to survive long enough. Um, he's got... He's got two... There, there we go, okay. Maybe it doesn't update until the round starts. But he does have a bunch of untyped dudes. All right. Well, that was going to be 100% lost. There was no luck involved there. Any defeat that doesn't destroy you Where are the pirates? I think I have to reroll here, and we got to try to put... Or I just grab whatever the heck here and just throw it down. Well, we'll reroll one time, because we can still buy two things. Ugh, this is such shit. I could reroll again. Hope I hit a pirate so I can buy the pirate and use my power. I think I just have to play it a little safe and just buy you must kill them all. whatever here. Red whelps are two ones? No one twos. I'm gonna say maybe we can do something with unstable ghoul. I think I'll just buy the arcane assistant just on the basis that it's got the biggest stats. I have to remember if I do hit pirates, I want to sell the steward of time. Maybe that would have been more incentive to do the reroll. Hmm. Not wonderful, you guys. I think you can win. Kind of the opposite of, of, of wonderful. That is really bad. He's got really good boost with this. He's got the to the tox waggle. Tog waggle immediately. Um yeah, no, this is actually horribly bad. And you attacked the wrong minion there. Okay. Well, we're actually taking a lot of damage, although more than expected, because the order was a little bit rough. We're halfway dead, and we have we have nothing going on with our build here. Alright, well, at least you're a pirate. I'm not, I don't need to sell the steward of time for this. The odds are in my favor. Do I want to be re-rolling now? Or I could sell level. Well, I don't think I want to sell guys on my board. Pirate, if I'm buying anything, I'm going to want itself to sell something. So no, we'll probably just be hero powering here instead. Okay, that's a frick ton of pirates. Be taking that. Um, yeah, maybe I should have sold that guy first. That we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna throw you in. You know what? I'm going to sell you, buy this one, do that. Move you back this way, move you to the front, or that maybe. No, you can go to the front, that's going to be okay. Probably, maybe. Okay. We got pirates, and what's nice is we got the salty looter at this point, as well. Hey, there's where all of my pirates are, you guys. Thank you for not actually killing the South Sea Captain before this went off. Okay, and we'll do a decent amount of damage back. Whew, all right, okay. Breathing space achieved. May have stemmed the bleeding a little bit. Um, I think I'll level. You use this triple. Pirates None of these are pirates. Who did we just fight? Someone with pirates, didn't we? 
We got a really weak one, unfortunately, but we'll throw it in. Gives more buffs over here. Lowers our power over here. Gives us a discount to buying the tavern tier, which is actually fine. Okay. Actually, I will do this because I want you to attack you know as early as possible before the South Sea Captain dies. We have no taunts. That's all right. Yeah, I could have gotten more stats if I'd sold that one dragon a little faster, but that's okay. Uh, Nazoth hasn't taken a single hit yet. Oh, that's terrifying. And we're going up against them now? Although, we do have a pretty decent board. Yeah, there you go. We have a single golden pirate. Now, the South Sea Captain isn't, like, super enticing long term, but if we do get ourselves a gold grubber, then he's all of a sudden a little bit more interesting. And we did level to four, so we can start seeing the grubbers. What else is that four for pirates? Oh yeah, the Rip Snarl, who's very good. The pirates definitely is it's definitely one of those factions where it feels like every single level that you increase your tavern, they get much better. Although that only helps if you actually hit one. Um, do I just want to level and hit this? I mean, I'm fairly decent hit point wise. There's not anything... Well, I mean, it'd be nice to get the Grubber. Yeah, I think I'm okay with doing this. Uh, there's some rerolls about... Okay, well, I'll sell you. So I'll just put you in. You are a pirate, Captain Hogger. You know what? I may as well sell you and buy the Hogger. Because that's clearly better. Cycles this. Procs more of those. And gives us I, I can't play I can't play APM Pirates. That is not something within my capabilities. So we want you going as late as possible, actually. Yeah, I mean, we've got a decent number of stats on board. Not much in the way of special abilities, although we get even more stats, thanks to the Rip Snarl Captain. And having this guy does turn the scallywag into a little bit more of a shotgun, which is nice. Maybe less of a shotgun, more of a, you know, semi-automatic burst. I'm actually surprised, because looking at this, it feels like this is fairly weak. But I guess it's all the red whelps and then the scaling wax rider. Who is going to get extra charge? Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of whelps. Many whelps, left side. Right side. More dots, more dots. Okay, stop dots. Alright. Nice thing about uh, Hogger is he does have a lot of stars for the damage. Your minions really pulled their weight. So we are gonna roll here rather than leveling. Better hire a recruit while you can. We get Nat. Well, I mean, may as well, because he's still a pirate for these purposes, which is nice. That's what I would have. And we got extra money from that, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna sell you and you. Purchase an extra pirate. Put the salty looter into play. Do this. I mean, we could put you in for some free dudes. I might win Fury right over here. I wonder if I should cycle more just to give these guys more stats. You know what I mean? Sell, play, sell, play, just to stack more stats over here. But it's something we can do later, but, you know, the earlier may be the better. Wow, lots of people going dragons this time. You got a Caligos already. Kill there. Ah! You could have attacked Caligos for a clean kill. Damn it.
I mean, we were likely to lose, but it was also frustrating to see all the all the the opportunities to not lose be so close. You know. I've got some fresh recruits for you. I mean, sure. That's not an Eliza. I don't think that counts. Okay, hold on. Doesn't count as buying a pirate. I don't know if it counts as playing a pirate here either. I'm not a huge fan of Nat. We put in Yoho to protect some other things. I'm gonna just play Hogger. Yeah, okay, we'll play Hogger. I might freeze this board. No, we really are looking for Eliza, so no, we're not gonna freeze the board. I guess since we don't have Eliza, I don't actually care about you going super early the same way. Keep up the momentum, friend. In fact, we could consider just selling the Scallywag. Like, it, the Scallywag offers... It, it, I've been skipping over... Um, I probably have missed some, um, some Barons and some uh, Cadgars because I wasn't looking for it, which does make the Scallywags a lot less valuable. Maybe I should just put in some bigger, chunkier dead. We haven't seen a single gold, gold grubber. I mean, admittedly, we only have one gold dude, but still. Eventually, that won't be the case. And right now, that's the point. Hit this guy. Ah, well, I mean, I guess that's a kill. Well, he'll be reborn. Well, then you got the value anyway. I mean, we are obviously going to win here. Lethal is technically possible? I don't know if it's still... I can't do the math quickly enough. No. It would have been quite nice, though. Your minions really pulled their so I can get a triple. Well, I, I suppose I already could, but I think I still will. Okay, I'm going to get rid of Scallywag. Play you. Purchase you. Hit the triple. Eliza? No. Uh, we could Tide Razor here, but I think I'm going to Arch Druid instead. You down a minion and up a go. Smile upon you. Okay, I want to copy Eliza. I want to buy you for the triple. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you need to move some more, but that's okay. Uh, maybe I want to put Wind Fury Guy first to trigger... I don't know. Definitely don't want the Elizas there, but I guess it is what it is. Okay, you only have two dragons, luckily, to bubble. We are... Oh, we're 100% to win. I didn't even look at the numbers at the top. Okay, good, because I don't think my ordering is very good here. And... Whew! Well, I guess we were 93.4% to get lethal with that. In fact, 21 was the bottom of the, uh, the percentile. Your minions really pulled their weight. Get you... Um, I don't need another one of these. I'm getting this cost zero. All right, here we go. Let's pick up the Scallywag. See what develops. Grab you. Okay. I mean, the Dons are pirates. That is true. Yes. I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be keeping Hogger around, so I'm gonna play you and sell you. Get the triple on Eliza. Exactly what you were looking for. Miss on more Elizas, but that's okay. 
just gonna cycle you out. Obviously, you you do very well with Eliza, but I'm gonna put down the Dawn just to see what we hit on its ability. Looking for Poison, Wind Fury, we didn't hit any of those. We didn't hit any of those again. So I'm just gonna do this so that it procs immediately as a throwaway. Um, do we Cadgar? I don't know. I mean, maybe I should put you first to trigger some things. I don't know. We're gonna counterattack, proc some Eliza stuff here. And stay alive, which is nice. Oh, you, you did not die. I mean, we're against the goat, so it's, it's never gonna be terribly challenging. It's actually, with the Rip Snarl, this does work pretty well. Give all friendly minions, so buffs itself. Maybe we do put the Goliath first. No, I, you know what? I think I might Goliath second, though. Your minions really so at this point, I actually don't 100% know what I'm still looking for. Well, I mean, we might golden you. We might have two of you in play. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. No to the Mithrax. If we still have Dawn in, then the Mithrax actually becomes a little bit interesting. Let's consider you... What I could do... Okay, so the South Sea Captain is not as useful as it was previously. If we get rid of you and we put in the Baron and we have this, and then maybe even get rid of the the Seabreaker and just have the second Scallywag. Actually, I think that might be best. Um, Golden you up doesn't actually do much for us. The Scourge will consume you! Because it just makes him slightly bigger, like, and his summon is slightly bigger, but that's not actually what we care about. You should be big enough that you won't die from, like, splash damage if there's a cleave that hits there. I think. That's annoying that he did go first, because we don't get to get, like, m m buffs on him. But that was always going to be a coin flip. And then Eliza goes away, which ruins everything. Yeah, I think if we'd gone first, it would have been a win into lethal. I think that's really what the big determiner was. Clearly not only, because is you know going first or second is 50-50. Ah, fuck. And we, we actually were only 13% chance to die. So the question is, did I make a mistake in going for the multicast over here. Should I have just kept bigger pirates in rather than maximizing gold and and maybe I'd have to sit and do the math on like how many stats did we gain from our uh, what are they called from our scallywags? How many stats did we gain from our scallywags versus how many stats could we make? like maybe keeping the wind fury guy would have been better. In which case then you don't play Baron, right? Because if you just got the one summon, you just keep the Wind Fury guy and the Scallywag, and then... I think it's pretty close which way is which here. Maybe there was an ordering that would have been better? No, I'm not sure that there is. Thing is, go, if we had gone first, I'm very confident. I mean, I guess it wasn't a 100% sure, a win either. Because it was about like one-third, 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 right? So, going first, we probably win almost all the time, potentially draw. If we go second, we probably lose most of the time, potentially draw. Mm. But th what annoys me is that even on losing, right, it was only, what, one-third of the times we'd lose, we would get kicked out? Something like that. I don't remember what the what the percentage was. It was it started with the one. I think it was a low one. So it's like 13% chance we get killed overall. So about one-third of the time when we lose, we die. So not only did we get, like, the bad RNG that meant we couldn't win, or we couldn't draw, we actually got the worst possible RNG in that it killed us, too. So, yeah. I, I think this is this is probably fine. Maybe I should have just put the big guy first. No, because we really need these guys to suicide as early as possible. I don't know. I don't know. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. I mean, we still went up in rank. I mean, come on. What am I complaining about? Exactly? Right. Bye-bye.